Hey Zelda fans, Nesmoji here. Welcome back to our channel where we bring you the best content about the Legend of Zelda franchise. In today's video, we'll be ranking the cutscenes from the Champion's Ballad DLC of Breath of the Wild. So sit back, relax, and grab a snack as we dive into the cutscenes and see which ones are the best. Coming in at number 5 on our list is Rivali's Flight. This cutscene is beautifully animated and provides some context to Rivali's arrogant personality, as we see how hard he had to work to achieve his goal. The music in this scene is also incredible, and it perfectly captures the sense of triumph that Rivali feels when he finally succeeds. enough. I must stay in the eye of the whirlwind. Must push myself harder. You know, your highness, it's rude to eavesdrop. My apologies. I went to the village and I was told I could find you here. You have need of me to defeat Calamity Ganon. To slay the beast once and for all, it will be my great pleasure. Thank you, Rivali. If we work together, I'm certain we'll be able to However! I know I play the biggest part in helping that... <clears throat> that little knight with the darkness sealing sword, correct? Well, if he loses his confidence after seeing me in action, don't come crying to me. Fourth on our list is Mipha's Touch, which is a touching scene that shows the relationship between Mipha and Sidon, and we get a sense of the love that she has for him. The animation in this scene is amazing, and the music is emotional and fitting. So, Princess, may I ask who the other chosen champions are? Goron Vigilance, Daruk. Rito Confidence, Rivali. Gerudo Spirit, Obosa. And also, the Hylian with the sword that seals the darkness. <gasps> Link. Oh. Sidon, hurry and swim up here. Mifa, perhaps he is still too young to swim up this big waterfall. One day, princess, I must leave him. To face my fate with Ruta. Sweet 
Sidon, should fate ever part us, I'm counting on you to protect our beloved home from harm. Understood? I believe in you. Now, shall we try one more time? Coming in at number three is Urbosa's hand. This cutscene is full of action and we see Urbosa using her lightning powers to take down a group of enemies. The animation in this scene is fantastic and the audio is intense and thrilling. Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa, on behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. So serious, Urbosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Do your worst. <laughs> <laughs> For our princess, you may keep your lives. Now go! <sighs> you asked me why I call you Little Bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world. Yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Number two on our list is Daruk's Metal. Ah, oh, count me in, tiny princess. I'm the fearless Daruk, after all. And if Hyrule needs my help, I'll gladly lay down my life. Thank you, Daruk. Not sure if it's Calamity Ganon's fault or what, but I hear monsters have been attacking people more than ever lately. Times like these, you shouldn't leave the castle without a horde of mighty Gorons to watch your back. You sound like Father. He's assigning a knight to watch over me wherever I go. I hear the top contender is the most accomplished swordsman in all of Hyrule. Hmm? Huh? That could only be... Hmm? Huh? What the... They really are all over the place these days. Hmm? Huh? Is someone being attacked? Cowards! Wait here, princess! In this scene, we see Daruk using his immense strength to stop a goblin attack from a furry friend who gives Daruk quite a fright. The animation in this scene is powerful, and the audio is intense and entertaining. Spineless little 
cuckoos? No monster stands a chance. When fighting me, the almighty Daruk. <laughs> oh. You're safe. Our friend here was the one being attacked. <laughs> Precious boy, you saved his life. Huh? <laughs> well. Good riddance, and stay safe. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. As a kid, dogs always chased me. I still panic when I see one of those critters. I never imagined the great Daruk would have a weakness. So tell me, Princess. Yes? Calamity Ganon isn't, uh, some kind of a dog monster, is he? <laughs> Coming in at number one, we have the final memory, which is the final cutscene in the Champions Ballad DLC. This scene ties together all of the memories that Link has collected throughout the game, and it provides some closure to the story. The animation in this scene is breathtaking, and the music is beautiful and emotional. Welcome, warriors. I'd like to thank you for joining me here today, and for your bravery in accepting this fateful task. I officially appoint you Hyrule's champions and bestow upon you this sacred garb. That blue is a symbol of the royal family, one that has been passed down for countless generations. Those garments you now wear were all crafted by my daughter, Zelda. Zelda. I trust you with the task only a daughter of the royal family can fulfill. Lead our champions, princess. And together, protect our kingdom from the threat of Calamity Ganon. Those formal shindigs really take it out of me. Hmm. This is the Sheikah Slate, eh? It is. Apparently, there are more uses for it than we originally thought. Sadly, we've yet to decipher all of its secrets. The princess showed me something strange recently. Somehow it can create true-to-life images. Wow. I would love to see it. Um, Princess, may I ask a special favor of you? All right, this spot should work nicely. Keep your eyes on the Sheikah Slate, everyone. Uh, Daruk, can you crouch down a bit? You're as big as Death Mountain. Huh? Oh. What's with the glum face, princess? Give me a big smile. Huh? <sighs> Gravali, move your tail closer to the group. Ugh, fine. Mifa, you look so tense. Deep breaths, okay? Right. <sighs> Stay just like that. Here we go. Smile. Click snap.
So there you have it, our ranking of the cutscenes from the Champions Ballad DLC of Breath of the Wild. Do you agree with our list? Which cutscene is your favorite? Leave a comment and let us know. We hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more Zelda content. It really means a lot, and we really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.